When she kisses him, he remembers. It's as if his past lives come flooding back to him, much like when we remember who we are by knowing all is love. Welcome to another episode of True Love Talks. Today I'd like to talk about some synchronicities that are happening with me right now, and I want to talk about them because I want to know if they're happening to you as well. Let me preface this by saying there have been a series of like minor things that have been mounting in my physical experience that I've had to contend with that are bringing me down in the sense that they're forcing me to focus on the physical. And as a result, it's kind of challenging my faith in the direction that I'm going in the physical sense, not in the spiritual metaphysical sense. And so I was having a bit of a crisis of faith and I wanted to have a sign. This was yesterday. I was out and about shopping and just before I got to Home Depot was when I asked for the sign. I said, hey, universe, talk to me. (laughs) Send me a sign. That'd be great. So then I forgot all about it. I went in Home Depot and I was in the lighting section and the song changed on the intercom I wasn't I didn't even hear the song before this but the song changed on the intercom to I saw the sign ace of bass which was one of my favorite songs in the 90s and uh so I started singing along with it and then I started laughing because I realized that this was literally the sign the lyrics for um ace of bass are I got a new life You would hardly recognize me. I'm so glad. How can a person like me care for you? Now, the care for you has to do with the old world, the material, mundane reality. Why do I bother when you're not the one for me? Is enough enough? I saw the sign and it opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. Life is demanding without understanding. So when you are in the old world mind, life is a chore. It is is demanding. And when you are in the new world mind, your eye is open. I saw the sign and it opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. No one's going to drag you up to get into the light where you belong. I was literally in the lighting section of Home Depot. In the light of home. In the house of light. The, (laughs) The lighthouse. The white house. And Home Depot's logo is orange, which is 33, Christ Consciousness. Okay, (laughs) I'm starting to see a whole new like subtlety to this that I didn't see before. Under the pale moon, for so many years I've wondered who you are. How could a person like you bring me joy? Under the pale moon where I see a lot of stars is is enough enough. It sounds like she's talking about an ex-boyfriend but she's not. She's talking about the old world mind and the sign that she's referring to is the Ankh mixed with the Jed and when you become anointed, crowned, kinged, you achieve eternal life. So those three signs mixed together, (laughs) trying to tell you something, (laughs) it's pretty obvious in the video. So there was that. So I kind of had a chuckle about it Taking a step back a bit, before I went to the Home Depot, I went to Value Village. The first thing that I see is a black stag's head. It's one of those geometric stag's heads, and it caught my attention because it was identical to the stag's head I saw on television when I was watching a home reno show uh, with my parents. I was at my parents' place on Saturday. And this home reno show, the interior designer came in with this stag's head and put it on her head, like on her face, and made a big deal. Like she made a big performance out of this stag's head, which was really out of place. It was like she was trying to get attention, like get you to pay attention to the stag's head. And then she mounted it on the wall and it just was so out of place. It didn't make any sense why she put it there. Yesterday, which was Wednesday, I was in the store and I saw that stag's head. So I turned to my left and there's this golden reindeer, which I thought was really cute. It had these beautiful antlers, they just spiraling out. It was a reindeer, it was a Christmas decoration, but they had put it out for Easter, which is odd. Like, what does a reindeer have to do with Easter? 
so I didn't really think too much of it. And then um, I was watching a video yesterday. It was totally unrelated. And in it was a stag's head. And I thought, hang on a second. I keep seeing these stag's heads. What is this about? And then in the Discord group, somebody posted a picture and in it was another stag's head. And so we started talking about deer and and reindeer and that sort of thing in the Discord group. And the connection was made to reindeer. I wasn't making the connection to reindeer. I was thinking deer and stags, but I didn't get to the reindeer part. So the connection was made to reindeer which is connected to Santa, the, the, the claustrum. So that was connected to the New World, which is also connected to Noah and Noah's Ark and moving into the New World. A friend of mine, she had been getting a synchronicities, which were pictures of Noah's Ark with two animals left behind. In one, it was, it was unicorns. And in the other, it was skunks. If you've been watching my decodes on my backup channel, I mentioned that we were sharing synchronicities about uh, weeds. She kept seeing weeds, and then I started seeing weeds, and then I started smelling weed, and that smells like skunk. And so I also smelled skunk, so the two were interconnected. And then also, she said that tomorrow is Red Nose Day, Red Nose Reindeer, so the red nose day is connected to reindeer as well. Unicorn being left behind has to do with reindeer as well because that's tied to the horns, right? The horns is the corona, is the crown. The etymology of reindeer is tied to to run, cow. It's from the root cur, corn, head, horn. Cur is kernel. Deer is also tied to heart, cloud, breath, breathe, heart. Cur is tied to Capricorn, carrot as in diamond, carrot as in the vegetable, cerebellum, cerebral, cerebrum, cervical, cervix, cheer, corn, cornea, corner, cornet, so to do with the eye, to do with the cervix, to do with the cerebrum, to do with the head. Cranium, heart, horn, hornbeam, horn blend, hornet, monoceros, which is a rhinoceros, uh, reindeer, uh, triceratops, unicorn. So it has to do with the horn and the head, which has to do with your third eye, being crowned, anointed, kinged. Stag, stick, prick, sting comes from steg. Old Norse equivalent was used of male foxes, tomcats, and dragons. The root word perhaps originally meant male animal in its prime, pertaining to or composed of males only. Stag sting, stochastic, a long thin stalk of a plant, point, stick, pole. We connected that to the ark because the ark is about moving into the new world and the deer is about the reindeer is about moving into the new world. When you're crowned anointed king, your third eye is open and you move into the new world. There was also a connection to, to deer as a spirit animal. Deer as a totem animal belongs to those who shine the light so others may find their way home, which ties into the song that I heard at Home Depot, home, in the light section, <laughs> the sign in the light section of Home Depot. So we also tied this to the story of Lot's wife in the Bible, Luke 17, 20, the coming of the kingdom. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. So here I am looking outside of myself for proof of being in the kingdom of God, asking for a sign, and the kingdom of God come not with observation, neither shall they say, lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. 25, but first must he suffer many things. Well, I'm going through this suffering period of physical stuff. And be rejected of this generation. Well, yes, I've been rejected of this generation, I think so. 
And as it was in the days of Noah, or Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, and they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, which means to go into meditation. And the flood came and destroyed them all. I mean, the waters could be the emotions, it could be the truth, the flood waters of the chaos that's coming and being in the ark means that you have a you have smooth sailing. You've done the work, you're, you're in your ark, you're protected, you have done the meditation and prepared for this. Whereas everything else gets destroyed. The, you know, the physical, the old world mind, the old world life that you had is destroyed. 31, in that day, he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Okay, so don't go back for your stuff and don't turn back and look at what's being destroyed. Bill Donahue talked about this briefly at one point. Don't look back at the life you left behind because it will drag you back down, which is what's happening to me at the moment and to my friend. So... We're having these little petty grievances that are pulling us back into the physical and the mundane. 32. Remember Lot's wife. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. So in this context, if you're seeking to save the old life that you had, so if you're clinging to the physical, you're clinging to the idea of what your life was supposed to be in the physical, you will lose it. And if you lose your life and you let it go, you will preserve it. How ironic. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. So while I was making this video, I was looking up unicorn in the ark and this came up that there's actually a story about the unicorn in the ark in the Talmud. And it's regarding Passover. Um, it says that it is the Found in the lore of Jewish, Islamic, and Christian sources, these creatures have been variously described and depicted, culminating in some versions of medieval European tales as a composite animal that could be caught only by a virgin with bared breasts. So the virgin has to do with being pure, pure of mind, pure of heart. I don't know what the bared breast has to do with anything. Perhaps you know. The Jewish Encyclopedia 1906, a charming story published in 1919, telling of the procurement of a giant unicorn for the Ark and of Og, the giant who captured and rode him, together with details on the voyage of the Ark and aftermath, is given here, the giant of the flood. Just before the world was drowned, all the animals gathered in front of the Ark, and Father Noah carefully inspected them. All ye that lie down shall enter and be saved from the deluge that is about to destroy the world. Og, the giant, was riding the unicorn behind the ark, and he laughed, saying that he was able to eat and drink as much as he likes and not be troubled by the mortals. But Noah said he shouldn't be so sure and that the mortals would be his master. They will outlive them and the whole race of giants and demons. The ark came to rest on Mount Ararat, and Og's long ride came to an end, and he was going to travel the world to see what was left of it. But Noah said that he was to be his servant. Noah said to him that he was going to go around the world to plant fruit and flowers to make the earth beautiful, and he needed his help. Og carried the heavy bag of seeds. The last thing Noah planted was the grape vine. It can be eaten, or its juice can be made into wine. Will be food for the hungry and health giving drink to the thirsty and sick. It's another parable, and I'm not going to read the whole thing because it is quite lengthy and it's beyond the scope of this video, but it is tied to the Passover. The Passover is happening in a couple of weeks, and I did do a video about the train derailment, which was connected to the Passover. So, this all seems to be connected to the Passover. If you have any insight on this, or if you've been seeing any connections to any of these symbols, please leave a comment below. 
I would love to hear what's going on with you. If you like this video, please show your support for my channel. Like, share, subscribe, comment, contribute. Contributions over $15 will receive a link to the Johnny Depp Dark Shadows material, so please be sure to include your email address. Kindly visit my website, subscribe to my backup channels, join the Discord group. All links are in the description box below. Thanks for listening. Hope you're having a great day. Bye for now.